Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Wargame Red Dragon. Where I'm about to do something that is quite unusual. It's something I have done long, long, long ago. Years and years and years ago. Um, ranked. So, I'm in the queue for 1 minute 40. It's going to probably take a while longer. So I thought I'd just talk about what my expectations are. I expect that I'm going to get completely wrecked. I threw to, uh, together a deck. It's a general, well, it's a blue four mechanized deck, so it does not have a national uh, flavor to it. Picked units that I think will do well, that I think have a decent uh, chance to <laughs> at least uh, function on the battlefield. Whether it's going to be working, I uh, probably not. I don't know what the current meta is. I don't know what uh, the players are currently up to. I don't know what maps are usually played. Um, I'm usually not good at doing 1v1, if at all. So I am very much outside of my elements, and you get to watch it. So, hopefully, I'm going to find a game soon. Well, here we go. After 7 minutes and 42 seconds in the queue and browsing Reddit vigorously, here we are, launching in one. <laughs> oh, this is going to get so painful. I have no idea what I'm doing. I am fighting uh, a captain, no less, on mud fight. My deck, unspec mechanized. Um, it's going to be pretty, pretty easy for him, probably. Uh, then again, I don't know what he has. Uh, I can defend the town to some extent. I want to capture Brav. I can capture Alpha fairly easily, I think. Let's invest some units in there. It is all mechanized, so it's not going to be arriving terribly quickly. But we'll just have to make do. Let's get a couple of cheap Leopards for fire support. And I also got the RBS-56 for short range. <laughs> and the guy recognized me. First ranked since... When, when, when did I do that? 2016, I think. He'll demolish me. Recording now. Let's, let's let the guy know. Now, um, as for the left flank, going into Fox is probably going to be very difficult. Let's at least make some sort of small standoff-ish force there. I want a Chaparral, I want a tank, I want a reconnaissance unit or two. Um, oh crap, I went with the standard VBL, not the, the improved VBL. Derp. Should have gone with that. As for vehicles, maybe some units around the CV. Just to cover my bases. Quite literally. There. My, uh, my Schwerpunkt, if you will, is going to go to Alpha. I'm considering just leaving Charlie for the time being. Because if I'm putting stuff there and there, um, well, maybe a couple of recon units to there, to Charlie. VBL. Oh, Tuffik saying he's super tired and should be playing. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I got a couple of cheap... Well, actually, the, the 103C could work there. It's good support. Got 180 points. I want one fighter for which I have the CF11, uh, sorry, 188 Hornets. Uh, and that means I have no command vehicle for Charlie early. I'm going to try and push through Alpha and move to uh, here and here, shutting that down. So I want to have this one, that one, and that one. He can have, well, he can have one. But of course, getting into Delta with the CV, tricky. I can send one artillery unit with the guys over here. Right. Two minutes to count down. Weasels in defensive positions. I pick these because they have zero mobility. They just cannot get anywhere. And at the same time, um, they do have a nice autocannon. Which I think could be valuable if I want to try and defend against an infantry incursion or... I don't know, at least tickle a helicopter, because they'll do very little beyond that. The flanking for the, the force over here is going to try and set up here. They do not have a mortar with them yet. I might send in one of those later. 
as for command units, I have the, uh, well, the Altis, as you can see, and I also have a command tank. I picked the command, uh, the French command tank, the AMX, because it also comes with an auto cannon, which I think is going to be more useful for last ditch defenses. Where that's going to work, uh, we shall see. My plan, move to Alpha, uh, have the rest there and there, scout out immediately with a flyer, so with a fighter, and uh, see if I can find some helicopter offensives. Let's hope not, because I'm very, very unprepared for that. You guys over there, you guys over here, you guys over there, I want the Kiowa out, I want the weasel in cover, and I want the bird out. Off you go. First thing I want to do is buy a mortar to assist in Foxtrot, because if he snipes my tank, my one command, or sorry, my one Abrams, I'm going to be in trouble. Oh lordy. That's problematic. He went heavy on air. What you got there? MIG? And there's an SU-25 about. That's going to make my life interesting. Yeah. He's immediately capturing the guys over there, or capturing that position. Okay. Now, I have absolutely no expectations of winning this. Uh, it's almost not even the point. I just want to see how he's playing it, so I can start learning. But these helicopters are completely demolishing me. Drop off while you're alive. Uh-oh. Yeah, there goes the Gepard. I shouldn't have pushed. I knew that he had too many forces there. They're all so fairly dug in. So pushing him is just stupid. That was a mistake. Don't do that. What I might be able to do is push to this side if it wasn't for the fact that he has the SU about. Uh-oh. Oh, there goes the tank. Yeah, this is pretty much done already. And this is why I have zero experience in rank. This is what's going to get me. The battle, however, as far as I'm concerned, is not done yet. He hasn't won yet. He's definitely dealt the first blow. And the second and the third. And now I can just start capturing zones. Let's see, he has a Skrejet moving there, and my 17 there, BTR, VDV. Okay. My chances of getting any kind of um, offense is low. Especially as he's going to be able to dig in. Also, I'm frustrated that I haven't identified that bird yet. Now, if I buy a CV for Charlie, that would give me some points, but it would do very little else. So I'm not going to go with that. It's probably just a waste of time. Let's go with the Leopard 1 over here. Just to defend against any kind of infantry move, although I don't think that he'll do that, but you never know. The VBL here is spotting and scouting. Elouette's still out of range. But the Elouette can see me, all right. Oh, it's a 25 PD. That's what took down my bird. It's still the same one. He didn't fix it. Interesting. There's ATGMs over there. All right. You know what? Screw it. Just get a CV. I'm going to get killed off anyway, so I might as well. The Liren over here. Yeah, there we go. The Liren are spotting the Gepard. Come on. That was close enough. That is 26 or 2900 meters ish. So they're not exactly inside the building. He's using scouting in force. And he's not encountering anything because he already killed almost all my units. Keine 
Ah, it's a Victoria. Well, that makes sense. Interestingly, though, it's the Factoria. That's that's a pretty terrible unit. At least when it comes to spotting. Oh, sorry, when it comes to killing stuff. That one lonely VBL over there. It's just a, oh, the Factoria did get me. I lost so many units there in that first push. And that was pretty much GG at that right there. For now, I'm refusing to give up. There, he captured Alpha. He's no longer bleeding points. Or rather, I'm no longer gaining. Let's get the Gepard out there. I want to have... a Fusilier over there. Because it has a better anti-tank capability. The VBL to come back out. What I'm missing is Reconnaissance Infantry. Now, you know, I'm actually very, very hesitant about uploading this. It might never see the light of day. The reason being, um, all the Wargaming Elite are going to come out and just point out everything that I did wrong and how retarded I am for even thinking that I can play Wargame, blah, blah. I know that humans have a negativity bias, as it's called. You always tend to notice the negative stuff. That's the thing, that's the, the thing that gets you. I can have a hundred positive comments and I can have people, for example, commenting on this saying, hey, uh, that was interesting to watch, whatever. But I'll not really register. I'll just go, oh, okay, yeah, great. There's another comment, done. Um, but it's the negative ones. It's the guys that show up once every blue moon that get me. What is he pushing in here? I'm floating too many points. Charioteers. Oh, wow. Interesting. With my uh, Canadian rifles, I might be able to get into the forest and then push into Alpha. It won't be comfortable. But if I can get there, I might be able to make something work. Oh. Or that. This over here. Let's see. Does he still have all those ATGMs parked out there? I know there was a BMD moving about there. There we go. Now he's at a plus two. You know what? Screw the haters. I'm going to upload this. Deal with it. I'm going to get all sorts of comments saying, Oh my god, that was cringy. I can't watch this. Great. Don't watch it. For those of you who are interested in seeing me learn things on the fly, this is for you. All right, let's get the warrior out there. I have another sector secure-ish. Oh, there's a VDV out of there. Oh, here come the charioteers. Take out the BMDs. Do an airstrike on those. Shit, do I have Winchester on? Yes. Great to be doing that during ranked. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Oh, and the Canadian rifles are getting blown up by something over there. Drop off, buddy. Yeah, there's VDV out there. About a cobra over there. All my infantry is getting murdered. Just got 
there. Transports of some variety. He's using Lekka Picota. A cheap leopard out here. BMGs will probably eat it. Cobra might be able to assist. Oh, here comes the MiG-25. Yeah, it's a BTRD. Quad PKT, so he's relying on suppression to deal with my infantry. Understood. Learned. I don't have no machine guns, nor any sort of supporting fire. I suspect that that MiG's gonna come right at me. Drop. Oh, there's more. I wonder if he was actually using those as passive spotters or not. But those must have seen my infantry push coming for miles and miles and miles away. Well, the word push is not really fair for what I'm doing here. Okay, now he's bringing in a cheap bomber. Yeah, it's a 30-point bomber, just to wipe out the infantry. We're attempting to. He captured Delta. There goes my Deagle. I was expecting this. I was just testing. Where do you need us, sir? Let's see if I can find this command vehicle in Foxtrot. Just out of curiosity, to see what he's using. What can the infantry do for you, sir? What we have? How is he defending this place? There's one scratch it in the open. Probably to deal exactly with the Kiowas. Or whatever sort of spotter I'm going to use. Uh, no, Captain. I want that bird down. Here comes a hawk. Here's a lo oh, it's a 29. Oh, dear. Yeah, I deserve that. Now go forth and kill me the command vehicle in Echo. It's a cheap mission. It's an easy mission. You can pull that off. No worries. Or not, because I lost it. Okay, what else can I learn? He snuck around guys through Alpha. Moved to here to secure that way that I cannot get in. Then made sure that he had a spotter behind my lines, which he might have snuck in through the tree line there. And I can all see this in the replay. Um, he started pushing through here to the forest that I was poorly defending. And because I was poorly defending it, he could get in there, and now he's gonna put pressure on Charlie. He doesn't have to put pressure anywhere, because I am pretty much at a loss of what to do. I really don't have a plan at this point. All my infantry has either been deployed or is dead, or at least the Canadian rifles, my cheap infantry. My anti-air has been eliminated. So at this point, I really do not have that much of an idea on how to counter this action. And I can see the leopard's getting detected. I just don't know by what. Let me name X10RC over here. Yeah, he's already getting attacked by something. Charioteer, I think. Missed. Let's blindly retaliate. This is epic gameplay right here. Then again, most of the time, America's Funniest Home Videos and other nonsense like that get the most views. He's relying on a fighter, a MiG-25, and he has an SU, and he has a Hawk, and... What sort of a deck is this? Is he using Airborne? He has... Yeah. Could it be airborne? Because I haven't seen a single tank aside from a charioteer. Yes, he's using an airborne deck. Stop. Start shooting stuff. Yeah. 
Hold on, there's contact in here. Yeah, that's not helpful. MiG 21MF, that's another bird that we haven't seen. Uh oh. Oh, it survived! Gepard, you glorious beast, you survived. Good man. Now, my initial uh, dissatisfaction with my push has now turned into curiosity. Which I think is a good situation. I'm going to learn as much as I can from this guy. How is he playing? What's he doing? What sort of units is he bringing? Where are they? What sort of a deck is he using? Why is he using that particular deck? I'm trying to get into a learning mindset instead of uh, just being on the verge of rage quitting. Because I was hovering over that GG well played um, <laughs> option, shall we say. I thought, you know what, well, maybe I can learn something here. And learning generally is painful. Because you mess up. And you don't want to mess up. You don't want to fail. Let alone fail in front of, what, 67,000 people? Subscribers? But then again, there will still be the haters in the comment section. Is that still the Victoria? No. That's the resupply units. The Gepard's gonna get hit again. I'm very... I'm struggling to try and get it out of the way. Sheparel doesn't fire fast enough to deal with that bird. And I have no ASFs left. I'm a 24 VP. Oof. Let's at least see if I can shoot down some of his aerial units. I might not be able to kill his stuff. Like his ground stuff, because he has too much of it. Sneaking a cobra around the flank is probably not going to be very useful either, because it's just going to get detected early and often by his aircraft. So trying to use that is a waste of time. Oh, here comes the gun run. This thing is going to tank a ton of damage and probably not go down. Come on. Yes. Got it. That's going to get pretty uncomfortable for the 103. Get a Kiowa. You know what? I think he might not have any anti-air. I think his anti-air is... Well, is strictly his air force. <laughs> Love how that 24p just comes in and goes... Yeah, that's a cute tank you got there. <laughs> Shame something happened to it. I think he's trying to line up a missile shot. This is actually pretty entertaining. At least for me. You guys might be cringing so hard and hitting the, the dislike button. Whatever, you be you. Go ahead. See if I care. I'm learning. The 103 is pulling back. Okay. Concern that I have is that the 10, is the, the AMX-10s might be able to scout, but they'll be outspotted and probably get hit by an ATGM. I'm already quite a few points behind, but by some miracle he hasn't finished it yet. Which, considering that this is my first ranked game in, well, like I said, years? Like many, many years, I think it's actually a win for me. Because I'm not helo rushed. I'm not dead in the first 15 minutes. Close, but I'm still here. Kind of. And yeah, sure, the game has already been won by him, effectively. Like, my chance to win is exceptionally low. Oh, Amex 10 RC, try and get out of there. Sheparel got killed off. Come on, get the BMD. Ah, there you are. BMD is down. Lee Ren is spotting. Each gems are incoming on the 10RC. And they killed it, but I might got the Lee Ren. 
another couple of these. Am I at least putting up any resistance? There, that's the Liren down. Let's see if I can get a Roland over here. Oh, there's a VP there. You're over invested in anti air. Well, my ASFs are dead. I mean, at this point, I can just give him information. I, I'm using him as a teacher. I don't know where to push, because he got this area locked down. He probably has infantry in there. He probably has infantry in here. He gems all over the place. Which is, I think, an excellent counter to using uh, a mechanized deck. So his use of units is very good there. I cannot go anywhere without being hit by at least one or two HGMs. Um, VP and the Alouette are moving. Let's talk after. Good. It's a bit too close for comfort. There's no HGMs coming out of that town anymore. Interesting. VDV. At this point, I'm just trying to defend this area as best as I can, which really doesn't serve any kind of a purpose. Because he can just fly in, like he's doing now. And on top of that, um, the, the mission isn't to defend. The mission is to go on the offensive. But I can't do that because I don't have the units, nor the, well, I think, nor the ability. Because he has everything else locked down. I think he's just teasing up my NTR now. Let me figure out what I have and where. I could send in a Hornet, but it only has two short-range air-to-air missiles. Chap. What's with all the aircraft? He's gonna try and hit any moving anti air with rocket pods and succeed. There goes one. There goes the Roland. Oh, it survived? The SU, by some miracle, was unsuccessful in dealing with my anti air. I'm gonna need to see how that worked. It's probably just poor RNG on this part. I basically lost this game in the first minute, I think. Mostly because I didn't really have a solid plan other than I want Alpha. And he might have had a, a much more solid plan of, I'm going to go here, I'm going to go there, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. That's something I need to very much work on. And usually, when I'm playing with the guys, I'm part of a bigger team. Um, I only need to figure out what I'm going to do on one particular stretch of terrain. Now I'm fighting across the entire map. Which, as you can see, is way harder. Leopard's going to be very, very dead. Bringing in any kind of anti air. Uh oh. Yeah, I didn't move it. You're right. <laughs> How? <laughs> Are Gepards really that heavily armored? I doubt it. There we go. His systematic use of aircraft to wipe out my anti-air is beautiful. Gotta give him credit for that. He is just... He's playing with my anti-air. Playing around my anti-air, if you will. He got this. I have nothing left. I'm just gonna push through. This is done. So... I killed 1,055, I lost 2,755. Hmm. Let's see what he has to say. What did I lose my stuff to? I don't care about my kills. Shouldn't have pushed for the town. Yeah. 
Yeah, you got that very quickly. Um, NATO mech. Not sure where else to go. Was going for Alpha slash Anna. Best counter is to stop. Okay, interesting. So just don't move. Recognize that you have air superiority. Okay. See, this is interesting. This is not some guy that's completely gloating and stuff. He's going, okay, um, he wants to learn. I'm going to help him. I really appreciate that. So Tofik, if you're watching this, thank you very much for this. Try to preserve your forces. Yeah. Once you were dug in, I didn't really know where to go. We'll look at replay after. Uh, you didn't have too much stuff on the ground. Yeah. I think he might have had one unit going to Foxtrot. And that could have been the opening that I was looking for. Right. What killed my stuff? The Mech 25 PD at long range. And when that was the dead, the AC 25T had free reign. So killing off my RBS 56 inside the transport and the warrior. I don't have a lot of units. Yeah, he's right. I should have realized that. Thanks for this. <coughs> As for the rest, the MI 17s with their deadly rocket pods. MI 17s, the 25 came in again, killing off the, the Geppard. He had a mix of Concord and Victoria. Interesting. You would change and attack the big town or my right flank. Yeah, but wouldn't you just have bombed that push? Also, I kind of think that you didn't have enough recon. True. Should bring more. Always more recon. VDV got the Canadian rifles at short range. I think that was one of the first losses. Because they did it there and they did it again with the BMD-2. And then the charioteers. He's using all sorts of cheap stuff. And when I did not see any kind of super heavies or heavy tanks at all, I thought, you know what? He's probably using air. Because you can still get charioteers using an air deck. VDV 90 killing off. Yeah, all of the Canadian rifles got murdered there. Again, I knew that this was going to happen. I knew that I was going to get schooled. I knew that I was going to get killed. I was prepared for that. I want to use this as a learning experience. I want to see what I can improve upon. And especially having an interaction like this with Tofuk after the game, it's very, very valuable. If I could just very slowly... Build up into here because he had ASF or he had air superiority. Using smoke and cheap infantry to sponge the damage. Right. And then maybe pick off the occasional bomber with my own air force, provided that I still had it. How many games has he played and ranked? Uh, ranked. He's played 90 games. 53 victories, 36 defeats, 1 draw. 
You advance towards a small town, you would overwhelm me. Really? But... Smoke doesn't protect against bombing that well. And using smoke screens to build a smoke corridor slash smoke wall in front of that town would be immediately clear about what I'm going to be doing. I think you were heavily dug in at the point where I would have been able to do that. Being more passive and defensive. Huh. Interesting. See you on the battlefield. You have armor, I don't. Yep, exactly. I had some armor, uh, although probably pretty poor choices, meta-wise. But that's something that he did not have. He had ATGMs. <laughs> oh, and he's a subscriber as well. Cool. Right, let's have a look at the replay. Let's have a look. If you're still watching at this point, do please let me know if you're enjoying something like this. Because for me, it's something entirely different. Um, I thought, you know what, I could do another second Korean War campaign, or uh, I could try and go with another interesting replay. But you know what, maybe, how about some live gameplay? How about some gameplay where I get completely demolished? <laughs> like ranked. Well, here we are. Okay, so he's opening with a Sokol and an Alouette. MI-17s and MI-8 MTV on that flank. Of course, I cannot see his air tab, so I don't know exactly what he has. KA-29TB, command infantry inside a helo. That's my markers. Yeah, BMD-2. Towards the town here, we got the BTRDs. One elite, one not. And potentially reconnaissance infantry, maybe Li Ren. Skrejet, SX-250. Yeah. Like you said, Foxtrot was weak. The BMD-2 has the Conquerors, which is not a great missile, but it will do damage against my Abrams. So pushing in would have been painful. Also, he has the 25T out, and when I saw that thing, I thought, oh, this is going to be problematic, because the 25T with my limited amount of anti-air, is going to just pick off the Abrams and then leave the VBL and the Chaparral in the dirt. I try to push. He already has it, in essence. And because I'm keeping my Flak Panzer Gepard slightly behind, the Sokol has an opportunity to attack me. The STR F-9040 is the only one that has an autocannon. My mortar shouldn't have been here in the first place. My Gepard engages. Takes out the so-called, but here comes the or here comes the aircraft. The SU-25 is still back. Uh, sorry, is still in the battlefield. It's not even back. It's still there, taking out the Gepard, leaving this whole flank devoid of anti-air. Over here, does he know I'm there? He doesn't. Or well, he might. His defensive perimeter here is Li Ren, Conqueror's M, and one VDV standard for town fights. And his HGM is currently engaging the Abrams, which went down to, I think, a side shot? Yeah, side shot killed it. Then he spots the VBL. Chaparral gets taken out by the 25T. The VBL doesn't have anywhere to go. I kind of break line of sight there, though. Barely. At that point, I should have just run right towards the CV. I don't think I would have killed it. But, I might have been able to at least do some damage. What do you have over here? Barely anything. Lekka Pekota, Factoria, Specialny Jednotki 90, VDV, and the Scrajet. The transport of them. More Scrajets? He's building an anti-air line. Now he's bringing up his anti-air. He didn't have that. 
he had the anterior there in the form of the MiG-25. And again, this is my interpretation of events. Maybe Tofuk has a completely different strategy, and I'm very much misinterpreting things, but this is my interpretation of events. Yeah, and now his special yet not gear moving up with the VDV. At this point, I thought that there was going to be way more inside this tree line, but there wasn't need for any. No need at all. I captured Charlie, which is 100 points that I might have been able to use over here. Now, he said in chat, be more defensive. But... <laughs> If I'm more defensive and he gets an opportunity to dig in even more, there will be more Concours M. There might be more VDV. There might be more Factorian Lee Ren to spot everything and then shoot them with those ATGMs. I'm pushing on the big town here. I think that's what he meant, push on the big town. So retask the initial push and pull it back. Maybe send it along, well, behind the forest, although mechanized off-road's not great. And then go into the town. Would have been painful. Because without my ASF, without the ability to contest his bombers, I probably would have lost a good deal of them. Now he starts probing. VDV, Skrejet, and Charioteers. Here comes my Canadian push. Well, ish. My plan here was to get the Canadian Rifles to move to here and then maybe uh, squeeze a CV in there. Which of course is, well, it's my lack of ranked experience. You shouldn't be trying to contest the sector. You should be trying to contest area. You're contesting for land mass. And the annoying thing is, I've said this countless times in replays. As I was analyzing other ranked games or just conquest games. You're not necessarily trying to get as many capture points as quickly as possible, because you don't really need to. But... Yeah, this is pointless. Being a decent charioteer is making short work of that. But by doing this maneuver, I'm still in the old mindset of I need to try and get in here and get a CV in there to stop the bleeding. Seriously, I'm being held up with one VDV squad. I suppose I've made it through. <laughs> And this is when they're here. You probably saw them when they were over there. Oh no. He has Igla. Not great in tier, but feasible. My Cobra tries to assist. It does some damage against the uh, units over there. The Delphin comes in. I try to shoot it down, but get punished by the 25 PD. And this is where I had absolutely no idea what to do. So I think it's useful to watch till here, but beyond that, not so much. So, my takeaways. Uh, based on what Tofuk is saying, be slightly more defensive. I might have been more, or might have been too aggressive in that early push. Um, I'm going to have to overhaul some parts of my deck. For example, my recon tab needs work because I do not have reconnaissance infantry. And that's a big oversight. The other hand here, I could have probably been more aggressive and maybe gotten away with it. Even though he had an igloo over there. Um, and I need to make sure that I recognize what the enemy is doing. If I see this many planes, I should immediately go, got it, airborne deck. Airborne deck means he doesn't have armor, uh, he doesn't potentially have cheap infantry. So I should just slowly build up and then push back. Because even though it is stressful to see that plus two, or at least it's stressful for me, it is not necessarily the end of the game. You can still come back from that. Anyway, that'll be it for this video. Um, it turned into a quite a longer video than I'd expected. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. Uh, if you hate it, great. Press the dislike. If you thought this was useful, this was interesting, uh, this was educational, whatever, let me know by hitting the like button. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing this again. Um, I probably should because I'm learning new stuff and I think that's good. And um, I hope that in time I will eventually get better at this. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon for more videos.